Ooh, look. Breakfast. Breakfast is served. I've been served. <laughs> Gee, Andrew, are you researching that? <laughs> Am I researching that? They're here. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot something. Tell me about your participation in SIFT. Let's see. Oh, I was 40 good. years old. These are good. Tom Schubert was the leader of the whole thing. And I don't think he was teaching anything. There were classes for screenwriters, mm -hmm. for actors, for directors, Producers. Uh, I think that was it. And every night there was some kind of activity. And there were movies shown at the, it used to be the Museum of Nature, or was it Man? We call it Man, and then that wasn't politically correct. No. When I met up. These are excellent potatoes. Very good. These are purple sweet potatoes. Do they appear to be purple inside? I like. Mm -hmm. So, Tom Schubert is awesome. You are going to be so spoiled, but. I want you to remember not to ask so many questions that it slows down the... Are you one of those people? No, I, I duct tape my mouth when I go to these things. <laughs> Excellent. Maybe you could just put this in it. Mm-hmm. Wait. Mm. Like a soother. Flower power. What kinds of people, what caricatures, caric, how do you say it? What characters? Car no. Caricatures? Yeah. Are in a class usually. No, I think you mean characters. What characters in our class? What, what people are in the class that drive the teacher crazy? My not normal characters there. Exaggerated. Anyway. The ones who act out. <laughs> well, there's the guy who knows more than the teacher. There's the guy who asks too many questions and everybody goes insane because he keeps slowing everything down. seen you in a lecture and heard you ask a lot of questions. What lecture was that? Um, I don't remember. Liar! Actually, it wasn't that. It was a Goji one and I think you walked out finally or something. Wasn't that it? You went with Paul and what's her name? Rana and we thought it was Oh, that wasn't it. It was something about money, was it? I went with Niels to something. Yeah, and you walked out. Why? You were there. No. <laughs> you told me about it, though. It was some kind of a new business, multi-level business opportunity that 
pyramid scheme. No, you know how they have a spiel? They want to do their thing. To sell it to you. They, they have their, their pitch thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he was saying things that begged responses and because of my, my what do you call it, uh, obsessive, obsessive compulsive, compulsive nature, I couldn't resist from giving the responses. Because he would ask, ask an open question, but no one's supposed to answer it, but I'll oh, answer it. Oh, that's it. That's another annoying person in the crowd when you're giving a program is... You've asked for participation, and the same guy or girl keeps giving the answers without giving everybody else a chance. They have to think a little, but this person doesn't have to think and keeps blurting out all the answers, and you want to strangle them. <coughs> Another thing that drives you crazy, you've asked someone to read something, and the same person volunteers to read all the time because he thinks he's the best reader and or how nobody about, else should be reading. Or how about nobody else offers to volunteer to talk or read or whatever? How about that? Sometimes the facilitator has to solicit those people. Otherwise, it's just a class between this one guy and the facilitator. You snooze, you lose, no, baby. That's not how I want it to go. The other people <laughs> in the class. You worry me. Am I out of the shot now? Maybe you're all half out of the shop. Maybe it's cut you in half. Symbolically. And that's probably enough, right? Want me to turn that off? Does that conclude our daily video blog? That concludes the stupid weekend my husband has planned because he's running Sparta, but he's also volunteering for anything that comes along.